and welcome to the sport on Prime. I'm Gary Al Smith. We are continuing where the entertainment folks left off because in that same interview where they spoke to Boris Kujo about that other part of his lifestyle and about his being a big star, uh, raising his children in a Ghanaian way and all that, he's also spoken about how proud he is to be Ghanaian. Yes, but you know, um, you... I think I think it's important that we look at players like Mane and Obama Young and, and Saleh and we, we say, look, they come from our continent and we have to use that as as encouragement and motivation uh, for our kids and for our young players now uh, to to develop more elite players who will then carry the torch. So um, disappointment is too strong of a word. I think, I think that uh, in the future we'll see many, many more talented Ghanaian players to rise to the top. Mm -hmm. and, and when Ghana is playing the U.S. where you, you, you reside, uh, how do you feel? Do you, do you support Ghana or you support the U.S.? No, wait, yeah. let me tell the story. Okay, okay. 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 When, when they were all in the same group, Ghana, America, and Germany. Mm -hmm. This man it was, was crazy, okay? <laughs> very tough. <laughs> he was He's screaming and yeah. shouting and celebrating, and his friends were yes. playing. He gets very excited when Ghana's in. Yeah. I was, I was heartbroken in 2010 <laughs> with everybody else. I was crying, yes. With uh, when Gian, oh, when mm. Ghana lost in the quarterfinals, it was heartbreaking. We were, we were this far away. But you know, there's another World Cup uh, after this one. Which we missed now. Yes. I, I uh, feel I represent Ghana in a way that, um, you know, right now with, 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 without being in the next World Cup, uh, I think it's important that we, we still, we realize and we are proud of the fact that Ghana is one of the top nations in, in Africa and, and, and one of the top nations even in world football, and especially when you talk about our talents. So um, uh, I am very proud that I can represent Ghana in the absence of, of, of players, but I feel that we have a bright future ahead of us. So as you know, usually by this time, we would know what exactly the event MC or the event compare is going to do. Now, there's another school of thoughts that says that Didier Drogba will also be a host of the events. Now, the story is that, as has been the case in previous years, the Sponsors of the CAF Awards and also CAF themselves have wanted different hosts. So Boris Kujo and his wife, as you see, are those wanted by the sponsors. That is ITU. ITU are the new sponsors. They have taken over from GLOW. And according to the information we have, the Confederation of African Football wants former Chelsea legend and Ivorian legend um, Didier Drogba to be the co-host of the awards with Super Sports Carol Chabalala. And we understand that Didier Drogba will be in town as well. So we'll see how it goes. Another thing that you should know uh, that we just picked up in the last 30 minutes is that Shatawale will be performing at the, at the awards and um, Ifia will be there as well. We don't know exactly what they'll be doing, but we understand that they'll be having a football collaboration with some footballers also on stage. So it's all building up to an exciting Cup Awards that will be on Thursday. And you can trust that the Joy Sports team will be up to it for you. Moving on to the Ghana Premier League. And I, like I always say, the league ended not long ago. The next one begins in February or something like that, according to the information we have from the GFA. And Hearts of Folk say they'll be targeting a trophy in the 2017-2018 season. And that's according to their management members. Uh, it's been, I don't want to say a painful situation, but it's just been a most unfortunate situation because I can, if I can remember, the last time we lifted the Rick Trophy was 2009, and then the last season we just said that 17 years, the last time we appeared in the FA Cup final, not for a, crowd, a standard of our crowd, so folk. Uh, it's very painful in the hearts of our supporters, and that's why you see some of our supporters with the least provocation they react because all those triggers to just send that reaction into their bodies, but uh, we as management, we as managers, we as shareholders of the club have realized nobody wants to invest his money and then lose his money. Once I invested the money, I expect that I recoup my money, but it's not been that way in Accra, so folks. So the important thing is for us to put the structures, we have understood the problems we are facing. As a supporter myself, I feel the pain. 
I feel the pain of investing my money. I feel the pain of my club not lifting lorries. So we are putting in structure, and that's why we are saying this season we are going to take our time to make sure that we get a good structure, make sure we put the structures in place, get the right players. Some of the players who are supposed to be our key players going into the future have departed from the club. So what do we do? We need to be very cautious. We need to trade cautiously and be able to make sure that we pick players that will give us what we are losing. I mean, yesterday was the 17th year that was the last time I've across over conquered Africa. And we all saw the videos, we all saw the clips, we saw the stadia, we saw the, the people like Osei Kufo, we saw the Shmelad, we saw the goals that were scored. I mean, we saw the Accra Stadium bubbling and all this, and you begin to ask, wow, is that same, my same club that you know? But it happens in football. We all seen it with Liverpool sometimes. So we we'll just have to be patient and travel all the way. The important thing is for us to recognize that there's a deficiency and we must solve it. So we're looking forward to look there. This season, no trophies targeted. Well, definitely we must make sure that, I mean, like we said, it's just been a dry season for years. And I don't think that is too good for us, even for us as members of the board and management of Accra. So we need to make amends. I cannot say it is a casting stone that we're going to waste, but it's our vision and our promise that this season will be a different season. In the last week, we've seen the build-up of a lot of teams, Kotoko, uh, Mediama, now Heart of Folk. We've done a bit of inter-allies and so on. I will continue to give you the information as... We count down to the start of the league season. Speaking of the league, and the premiership is still ongoing. Pep Guardiola today complained. He became the latest to complain about the fact that the English Premier League should consider a winter break. And that's because some of his key players got injured, Gabriel Jesus and Kevin De Bruyne. But De Bruyne has started in today's game, in which they are leading 2-0 against Watford. These are the other scores. We have two uh, teams at home winning and two away teams, Spurs and West Brom, leading against Swansea and West Ham United, respectively. Southampton winning at, Chris, um, at home against Crystal Palace. So that's the wrap for now. I'll be back at 10.30 with the football show. Uh, we have conversations on the Premier League and the highlights of this game that we are showing you in terms of all the goals. Plus, a little bit on the CAF Awards. Stay with us until then. 10.30 it is. I'm Gary Al Smith, and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>